Today, when it comes to watchOS 11, Apple has released the second official public release when it comes to this update. And you can see right here, this is watchOS 11.0.1. For me, on my Apple Watch Series 7 right here, you can see that this update comes in at a large update size, 1.7 gigabytes. And you can see here, they are telling me all about watchOS 11 and everything that it brings. And the reason for this is because I actually didn't update to watchOS 11 the moment it came out. If I go to the about version, you can see the version I'm updating from 10.6.1. So that's why my update size shows as 1.7 gigs. And at the same time, if I go into my watch face right here and go to the software update, you can see this is the same and it tells you all about it and it's paused just for now until I can put my watch on a charger. But just to show you other updates that were released alongside this, you can see Apple released iOS 18.0.1, which fixes a very serious touch issue for the iPhone 16 and it fixes some messages, bugs and some camera and action or new camera controls button. And they also released another update for macOS which is macOS 15.0.1. I actually did a video on this. If you want to see it, you can watch it after this. But that's just about all the updates that were released today. So let me just quickly finish updating my Apple Watch. And then we're going to see what are the new features and changes that this update has to offer. Just like that, my device is now up to date. And because I'm taking a big jump from the previous version that I'm on, you can see one of the new things that I see right here is the new Hello screen that's welcoming me to the latest watchOS version. And this is watchOS 11.0.1. .1. And now if I click start right there, you can see welcome to watchOS 11. You can take a tour of what's new or if you want, you can skip. So because mo most users that are going to be updating to watchOS 11.0.1, .1, there are users that are going to be already on watchOS 11. So we won't take a tour. Let's just skip for now. And you can see basically this is how the screen looks. Now, if we go to quickly see the new software changes that this soft this update has to offer by going into the settings, go to general and then go to the about you can see the version of watchOS that we are on watchOS 11.0.1 .1 with the build number that is 22R361 so this is the current latest build and if you're on watchOS 11.0.1 .1, this is the one you should be seeing and right there you can see we are up to date and yes the notification is what well, just came your Apple watch is up to date now in terms of what's new or what Apple is trying to address when it comes to this update, the first thing they mention is the fact that the Apple Watch may unexpectedly restart for some reason. And that's the the reason why I have this other Apple Watch right here with me, because this Apple Watch is actually experiencing that issue. It sometimes freezes, as you can see, it's just frozen like this. I cannot be able to press the buttons for it to do anything. So just listen. Even the even the action button on the side doesn't do anything. And this is something that's been happening throughout the day for me as a, probably this is like the fifth or sixth times. And this because I test watchOS as well. This version of watchOS that's here is in beta. It's watchOS 11.1, .1, which is currently in beta. But yeah, you notice how it sometimes freezes unexpectedly. I notice this is triggered by going into the stopwatch that it's crazy how the stopwatch actually literally stops the stopwatch or the Apple watch itself. So that triggers this. Or if I press the digital crown back and forth multiple times, then this makes my watch unfunctional and it just freezes like this for a couple of seconds and then just keep an eye on it it will restart just like this. You can see it forced itself to restart. And this is one of the things that Apple has fixed on watchOS 11.0.1. .1. Apparently, this got so bad that Apple had to pull the update of watchOS 11.1 .1 beta that's causing this. And you can see here, if I go into the settings after my watch has restarted, go to general and then go to the about, you can see the version that's causing this. This is watchOS 11.1. .1. I believe it's the latest beta 
later with 22R559F and the, this build number that you see here is actually different from the build number that's depicted on Apple's website because Apple's website mentions that it should end with a B but this one actually ends with an F so it's freezing and if you're experiencing those issues on the initial version of watchOS 11 then how glad you are that Apple has resolved that when it comes to watchOS 11.0.1. Now, another fix that has been addressed here has to do with the music app. There was a bug that may cause the music to quit unexpectedly when loading. Now, I haven't experienced that yet on my Apple Watch Ultra 1 right here, but if you're experiencing that on the Apple Watch that's on watchOS 11.0.1, then that's fixed. I don't use Apple Music on this device. I use Spotify, but that issue has been listed as one of the resolved issues and one of the major complaints i've been getting throughout watchOS 11 as a whole is an issue that pertains to battery life and a lot of users starting with the series 6 and newer all the way to even the latest apple watch ultra 2 that just came out you know not too long ago apple has mentioned that they fixed an issue with regards to the battery drain issue that a number of users were complaining about now this device the apple watch series 7 has been performing fairly okay you can see if i go to the battery health for almost a device that's on 80 percent it's been pretty much okay but hopefully now that apple has mentioned that they've resolved an issue that may cause battery drain more quickly then Hopefully it gets better battery. If you are on watchOS 11.1 betas, you won't see, of course, the update for watchOS 11.0.1 cause the build that you are on, if you are on 11.1 betas, you are already on a higher build and you won't see this update. So keep that in mind that at the same time, battery life on watchOS 11.1 beta isn't as great so far. So the latest beta that I'm on isn't great, but if you are not on the beta and you update to watchOS 11.0.1, hopefully that improves the battery life of your device. And the notes or what I'm quoting right here is what Apple has given us or has mentioned when it comes to watchOS 11.0.1. So most of those issues are listed in the release notes of watchOS 11.0.1 and battery life is among those, which is something that's great. So keep an eye out for that and test your battery life after you update and also another thing that this release notes mentioned that has been resolved with watchOS 11.0.1 is an issue that has to do with touch that may be temporarily unresponsive for some Apple Watch Series 9 and Apple Watch Series 10 and Apple Watch Ultra 2. So uh, it's 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 kind of unique that they mentioned series 9 series 10 and ultra 2 because those apple watch devices are the only devices that support a feature that my apple watch ultra one doesn't get and that feature is the sleep apnea function so in order for you to see the sleep apnea function let me just get out of the night shift mode in order for you to see the sleep apnea function if you go to your health application and then just go to the browse section and you can search for uh, for example sleep and under sleep you notice this this section that says sleep apnea notifications and if you have the apple watch series 9 series 10 or ultra 2 then you have the ability to be able to use sleep apnea and this is now supported and approved in the us and in canada as well and apple mentioned that this is supported in over 150 countries so you can see if you have a series that's not supported, this application is going to tell you sleep apnea notifications unavailable and sleep apnea notifications are not available on your Apple Watch. It doesn't mention that they are not unavailable in your country or region. It will tell you that your Apple Watch is not supported. And of course, the two Apple Watches that I have, the Series 9, uh, oh sorry the series 7 right here and the ultra one are not supported and if you're experiencing unresponsive touch issues then definitely 
uh, keep an eye out for that you can see <laughs> my watch already froze again so keep an eye out for it as we go through the video because it's gonna restart itself but i like how the complications continue to refresh in the background even though it's frozen and restarted or it's it's non-functional for now so keep an eye out for it as we go through some other fixes that watch os 11.0.1 introduces the second fix that this update introduces is messages that may quit unexpectedly when replying to a message with a shared apple watch face so if you want to share an apple watch face to someone <laughs> i was gonna demonstrate okay it seems to have oh man okay it's i don't know if it restarted but it seems to be okay now it's forced itself to restart so this is this is why you, uh, you shouldn't update to the latest beta of watch os 11.1 i believe it's beta 3 don't update to it because your apple watch is going to experience issues just like this but on watch os 11.0.1 if you want to share watch face you press and hold on the watch face and then if you click this little share icon right there it will load up and it will give you contacts that you can share the watch face to and it will tell you the watch face right there and if you want to share it to me just like this you can click on it right there so click on the message and then you can send the watch face on the person right there if you go down you can go to where it says send and there was an issue in the messages app both on ios because this was an issue that users on ios 18 we're experiencing so on ios it would cause that to crash and on the apple watch it will cause that to crash as well the messages application would sometimes freeze or totally just crash and reboot so that was an issue and they've resolved it both for the iphone on ios 18.0.1 update and on the apple watch with watch os 11.0.1 that's good that apple has been able to resolve that it's kind of weird that all these software updates are just glitching out and the issues are not just like a bug where maybe um, an app might un become unresponsive it actually freezes and crashes i'm not sure why apple software is becoming like this nowadays but usually it's not this bad but yeah with these updates that we've been getting recently there seems to be more of those serious issues now there were other issues that people reached out to me for that Apple hasn't mentioned, such as some users uh, got better uh, battery life on their Apple watches with watchOS 11 or when they turn off this live activity features. So if you know, if you're on watchOS 11 and you have the live activity functions, then if your battery life is not improving or it seems to be terrible some users mentioned that by just turning off this smart stack live activity features that seems to have improved it but at least apple has acknowledged that that was an issue and they've resolved it and if you had turned it off to try and get better and improve battery life hopefully that fixes your issue and also if you are playing media on your apple watch you know there's a new now playing screen that pops up sometimes it would show up blank or it would show up obstructed and you wouldn't be able to see the information after updating it didn't happen again well at least for the few hours they've been using the update so far two people reached out to me on that and since i wasn't experiencing that i won't be able to test it out for you and the last thing that a number of users mentioned was with siri where siri was broken in a do not disturb mode so let's test that out and see if i go into this do not disturb mode i'll say for one hour and then try and activate siri you can see series functioning so let's see uh let's see how are you doing i'm fine thanks that's great okay siri is now functional and at the same time i notice let's go into the do not disturb mode if you are on ios 18.1 and you have an apple watch um synced to your uh, to your iphone you have a new do not or reduce interruption mode rather focus mode that you can enable and had it has some sort of uh, apple intelligent look to it you can see here on my iphone or oh, rather on my apple watch it's frozen again guys so yeah this it's good that 
Apple has fixed this on watchOS 11.0.1 because let's see. Yeah, it's unresponsive, but okay. Now it's going to force restart itself. But yeah, this watch that's on watchOS 11.1 betas has that new uh, reduced interruption focus. And just to show you how it's going to look on your device, if you go in the focus mode and you enable it, you can see how it's going to look and it's this is going to also show up on your apple watch currently it's causing my apple watch to become unresponsive and freeze and you can see the logo right there let's see now that it's back you can see if i go to the control center right here you can see the new reduce interruption focus mode but because when i enable it this control center becomes unresponsive and so that hopefully will be fixed with watchOS 11.0.1 for users that are already on iOS 18.1. So that's just a quick thing that I wanted to highlight right here. Maybe the last thing that I will mention is that the Siri watch face uh, has been removed because if you go into your Apple watch face rather, so if we go into your Apple watch application and then you go to your watch face gallery, you notice that when it comes to S, they've removed the Siri watch face. So you notice this is the S section, simple, Snoopy, solar, uh, solar analog stripe, but there is no Siri watch face. And the reason why they removed the Siri watch face with watchOS 11 is because the new smart stack section that we have right here, is basically summarizing or giving you the same functionality of the Siri watch face and it's not the only thing or the only watch face that Apple has removed with watchOS um, 11.0.1 or in basically if you are coming from watchOS 10 to watchOS 11 you are going to lose about four or five different watch faces even the portraits watch face has been removed and numerous two has been removed among others if you want to see all the watch faces that were removed check out my video of watch os 10 versus watch os 11 and you will see a number of the watch faces that have been removed now that's basically just about it when it comes to watch os 11.0.1 maybe the last thing we can check is the apple security release to see what cve entries apple has released so if we go to the apple page right here you can see when it comes to watch os 11.0.1 right there it mentions that um, this is for the apple watch series 6 and later but there are no published cve entries cve just means common vulnerabilities and exposures which are security patches put simply so currently they since this update just came out apple hasn't reported any but it doesn't mean that this update doesn't have any security patches after some days apple will probably update the page to let users know why they need to update to the latest watch os version for security reasons so that's just my quick take right here with watch os 11.0.1 um please don't update to this watch os 11.1 beta yet if you use or rely on your device and daily because you can see it will freeze it will act up weirdly but i'm happy to see that apple has fixed a bunch of all these things on watchOS 11.0.1 so that's just about it for me if you find these videos informative and helpful in a way please give us a like as this pushes our content to more audience and at the same time hit subscribe so that you stay up to date with more watchOS content such as this my name is ben and i'm signing out peace